channel. Um, today I'm actually going to tell you guys the difference between stripping in Australia and stripping in the US. Uh, so I stripped in Australia for about two years and then um, two years in Hawaii and about six months in Texas. So I'm going to tell you guys like the difference that I've experienced and um, yeah. So first off, I've definitely danced at more clubs in Australia. I definitely bounced around a lot. I was moving around to different states, different areas. So I would always try a new club or if I didn't like the club, I would go to a new one. Um, but yeah, a lot of the clubs in Australia are definitely more like um, gentlemen's clubs. I, uh, from what I experienced, um, I danced in Sydney, Melbourne, and Brisbane. So um, one thing that sets American clubs and Australian clubs apart period is Australia does not have a $1 bill. They have $1 coins, $2 coins, and they have a $5 bill is the lowest bill. So people do not make it rain like they do in the US. Of course, every once in a while, you'll get some people that want to throw some fives and they'll give you a good amount or they'll tip you a 20 on stage or something like that. But it's more it's more that vibe. It's more the walk up and give give a 10 or give a five. You know, people don't just sit there and throw money. There's not just sections where they're throwing money. So it's all about dances. You can definitely make money on stage in Australia, but you know, it's just from people coming up and giving the fives plus, not people making it rain like that. So Australia is really dance centered. Um, everywhere you go is different, how they're laid out, how the dances are laid out. Um, they even have like crazy things like shower dances and you'll like dance in a shower in front of people. But yeah, Australia is really more dance orientated and a lot of the dances are longer. So. Um, I know I definitely worked at clubs where like the shortest dance you could get was a 15 minute dance. You know, they didn't just sell one song or two songs or three songs or by the song you had to buy a 15 minute like minimum or, you know, so it's a lot about, I feel like looking back, I would say you definitely need like people skills. You need to be able to talk because these people are trying to, you know, get to know you and spend time with you because the minimum time that they can spend is 15 minutes and you know if you don't get along with the person that's kind of awkward so you definitely need good people skills um it's not just like quick dance here dance here dance here dance here you know it's more it's more that whole vibe and granted there are definitely clubs that do that but i just feel like it's just not in the same scale as the us if that makes sense um i remember there were clubs where you could do um like there was periods of times when this one club every time i hit like 12 or something you would go around the room and do like one song dances uh for like 10 minutes or something like that and they do that a couple times a night um something like that but it's just not the same scale as the us you know it's just more uh longer dances chatting um you definitely need your people skills um and that's probably not every single club but i did work at like quite a few clubs in australia so i definitely got like a good idea of what it was like and of course you know there's the US clubs and dollar bills are a huge part of stripping in the US. So um, I found that, you know, there's a lot more ass shaking. There's a lot more uh, just, you know, quick dances here, 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 here. Uh, stage money, a lot more stage money. And but that honestly depends on the club because um, I know that when I worked in Hawaii, the stage money was really good most of the time. You know, of course, of course there's seasons but um the stage money was really good most of the time it was always popping like it was a good mix between dances and stage money that for me was the perfect fit you know uh i definitely started making a lot more money uh when i was in hawaii but also you know it could be that i just had more experience and i had been dancing for longer so i feel like that also is part of it and um really just the mind space that you're in if you come to work ready to make money, you will have a lot higher chances of making money than if you come to work and you're not in the mood, you know what I mean? So it's all about what I learned, it's all about mindset. Also in Australia, like I don't remember ever um, having to tip out anyone. Uh, you just pay your house fee and then um, 
yeah, there was definitely no tipping out any of the places I worked. Um, and I worked at 12 places, so I don't know if that's everywhere, but the places I worked, you know, there was no tipping out. Um, and in the U.S., you definitely tip out every club you work at. You're going to be tipping out someone, whether it's a DJ, security, you know, um, waitresses, whatever. Uh, you're definitely going to be tipping out someone at the end of the night, most likely, and then on top of your house fee. But um, really, they're both good. I, I think that if I were to go back to Australia and have to do the longer dances, I would not be good at that anymore just because I feel, feel like I've been pushed <laughs> past my point with men. I just don't have any kind of tolerance to talk to them at all anymore. So um, when I was a baby stripper, I definitely had more tolerance. You know, I was able to sit there and smile and grin and, you know, say what they wanted to hear. But now I just don't have it in me. I just don't. I just want to bitch slap people. <laughs> so I just want to make my money fast and not have to talk to anyone. And I don't have regulars. I'm not, you know, a regular person. I just like new customers, new money. Fresh money, new night, new me. Um, and that's like how I like to work. So I definitely have preferred the US over Australia to this point. But if before I even knew what the US was like and I just was dancing in Australia, I thought it was amazing. So with no comparison, uh, you know, you don't know. So I, it's still awesome there. You know, it's still great. And um, I definitely some of the clubs with like the least amount of rules and the most freedom I worked at were in Australia um so that's really awesome you know I had a really good schedule uh something that a lot of like times you have to if you're not good at like forcing yourself to show up to work and you're working at a place that doesn't require you to come in at all um it might not be good for you just because you'll end up hardly working and just you know letting go and not working not making any money so sometimes it is good when a club forces you to you know come come three nights a week come four nights a week because uh at least it'll force you to get there and force you to try to make some money uh so maybe you need that accountability so maybe you like that you know uh but yeah every club is different australia and the u.s they're both really great places to dance at i would say um they're just both a little bit different so what's more your vibe do you want to be kind of like uh doing more than talking and chatting and little dances and some places have the small dances of course um but definitely more longer dances and the u.s is definitely more shorter and um and then the u.s you can also do uh, there's also vip rooms of course and you can also sell longer dances and definitely every club is different um but for the most part that's like the main difference that i've noticed um also australia is pretty picky about size. They like girls pretty skinny um, compared to the US. I definitely know that there was <laughs> clubs that uh, girls had to be weighed at like each week. I didn't work at those clubs, but you know, that's so crazy for me. If you're working in, in an environment like that, that doesn't sound like healthy and uplifting and fun. So I definitely wouldn't want to work there. Um, but yeah, I've seen, I just feel like it was a little bit more strict, like they wanted, uh, they required you to be definitely more skinny, like I remember being like, I was like thick in my club, like thick, you know, thick, and at a lot of the US clubs, I am like not even considered thick, so, <laughs> so crazy, um, just the difference, and also, um, in Australia, they really require, you, like most places require you to be, have a fake tan, or be tanned if you're not. Um, I remember that being like a big thing at a lot of the clubs I went to and I've never seen that in the US so I don't know if it's just the clubs I've worked at but um, yeah a lot of them will require you to be tanned and have certain preferences like some clubs would only allow your nails to be pink or white and <laughs> it's so weird right just and you weren't allowed to have your hair in a ponytail you had to wear it down straightened or curled um, and every club has like different rules like some you have to wear like real lingerie, like three piece sets, um, like honey burdette sort of vibe. And that's more the gentleman vibe, the gentleman club's vibes. And then some are like, you can only wear bathing suits. And some are like kind of in between that. So 
Uh, every club is different. Just try them all out. Uh, US and Australia are both awesome. I had a great time in both countries. Um, but yeah, let me know your experience if you've danced in the US or if you've danced in Australia or both and what you liked about each country and if you would recommend Australia or US, which one do you like dancing in the most? But yeah, leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section and I will respond to you guys. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Uh, TikTok is poppin'. Uh, yeah, and hit that subscribe button for more stripper videos.